Okay, let's get ready to carve. We're gonna take our carving knife. Now this one's nice because it has a little handle there for my finger. And we're gonna start with the top. Now you can either cut from the top or if you want, you can cut out the hole on the bottom. It really doesn't make a difference, but I suggest if you're putting it inside that you cut from the top because less juices will flow out. But if you're doing it outside, I really like to put the hole on the bottom. And it's the same for either one. You want a hole that's bigger than your fist so that you'll be able to reach in. So we're just gonna start, and we're gonna work with the knife at a 45 degree angle. If you do it at a 90 degree angle for this, your top is just gonna fall right in the pumpkin. So just a little bit bigger than your fist, we're just gonna gently push this in, okay? And at a 45 degree angle, we are just gonna saw back and forth. I like to hold it like this, okay, for this part. Saw around and make a shape. Now, you wanna make a shape out of this. You don't want it to be just a round circle because then you are going to forget exactly how to put it back on. So I kinda of just make an eye shape, you know, like, a, like the, uh, an eye looks like. You can do any kind of shapes you want, even like a pumpkin shape is really cool. You know, and that would work too, so it would be round, but then you would have a spot for the um, stem. So you could do that if you want to. I'm just making an eye shape. Working on a 45 degree angle, okay? Make sure we've got that. Go back around. Now we're gonna lift off the top. If it does have a larger stem, it's a little bit easier. Just get your fingers down in there, pull off the top. Now it is time to degoo. So we're gonna take that either you can take your knife and just cut all that off, or you can take your scraper too and just scrape that on. And I'm just gonna put it in a disposable pie tin here. You could do whatever you like with that. Now we're just gonna cut off all that extra we don't need all that goo. Okay, so we'll clean up the top of our pumpkin. Just put that aside. See, my eye shaped so that I'll know exactly how to put that back in. Now we want to clean all the goo out of our pumpkin. So you can just reach in with your hand and start grabbing it all out. Or you could use your little scraper tool. Just make sure you get that nice and clean. You want everything out of there. All the strings and everything. So just keep cleaning that out. Using your scraper tool, just oh, put it this way so you can see I'm just reaching in there, I'm scraping all along the inside so that we scrape out the seeds and all those stringy, stringiness of the pumpkin. You want to really get in there and scrape hard. So I'm just going to keep cleaning this out until I have all of this goo set aside. Again, just put it aside in a pan, a disposable container, anything that you have, get it all cleaned out. And then we'll be ready for the next step. Okay, once we've completely cleaned out our pumpkin, just make sure that you scrape all that stuff out. You don't want any of that left in there. Number one, it would be a fire hazard if there's a lot of strings hanging around. And number two, it's just not gonna look good in your pumpkin. So we just take our scraper, and you could even scrape down the walls thinner if you want. You want about an inch of the pumpkin wall, which most pumpkins are, but some people like to shave it down a little bit more. So you can just keep working with this until you get to a thickness that you like. You just don't want it to be too thin or else it's gonna be hard to have your design stay on there. Now that our pumpkin's cleaned out, it is going to get a bath. So I'm gonna take this whole pumpkin over to my kitchen sink and just completely wash it out on the inside and outside. And then we're gonna be ready to put on our pattern and start carving. Okay, now once we have a clean and dry pumpkin, dry it off on the outside and also just um, sop it up a little bit with some paper towel inside as well, we are ready to put on our pattern. I'll just make sure it's completely dry. And you're going to print off your pattern. And then we're going to figure out where we want it on the pumpkin. And we are going to tape it down on there. So I like to use some masking tape. But before I do, it makes it really easy if you just either rip or cut around this pattern. You don't need that much at the bottom. 
just every couple inches, that's going to help the pattern to sit a little bit easier on here. Okay? So we have that. We're just going to get some tape. Position it exactly where you want it and tape the pattern down. Okay, now as you can see, I use a lot of tape because sometimes it pulls up. So just make sure that's all taped on there. And now we're ready for the next step. You either want to use this piercing tool that comes with the um, pumpkin carving kit, or if you don't have that, just use a push pin. You can get these office push pins. I got this at the dollar store. Okay, so we're gonna take our push pin and we're just gonna go around and every eighth of an inch, you want to go ahead and just push that hole right in there. And I like the push pin because it only goes in, I guess this is about maybe quarter an inch to half an inch and that's all you need it to go in. So we're just gonna go around and completely follow this entire pattern all along every single black line, okay? And all the black is what we're going to cut out. So just keep doing this. Takes a little bit of time. Turn the TV on and just have fun piercing all the holes in here. Just keep following that line. And then once you have the entire pattern done, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, once we have all the holes po poked around all the entire design, you can take this off. I'm going to put this aside though so I can look at it and remember um, what needs to be cut out because now that you see this, let me zoom in a little bit. I don't even know if you could see it, but I definitely can. All the holes on my pattern, okay? For this really dark one, I tried using um, the hole poker that I got with the kit, this larger one, um, and then the other ones that work out just fine too. I can definitely see them here, even though you might not be able to see them on the video. That is just the push pin. Okay, so to make it even easier though, what I'm gonna do is pour, you can either pour um, baking soda, flour, baking powder, um, cornstarch, whatever you want. They all seem to work out really well. We're just going to coat that. Then just take a napkin and brush off the excess. And you can see how much easier it is to see your pattern now. See how much easier it is to see that pattern? Okay, so now what we're gonna do, it's time to cut. Okay, now that we're ready to carve, this is how I like to sit. With my legs crossed and the pumpkin right in my lap, this makes it so much easier to be able to work with it. And remember, I have a copy of this, or you can just use the one that came off your pumpkin. That's just fine too. And we're gonna sit that down right in front of us so we can look and remember that for this pattern, all of the black is what I'm going to cut out. Okay, so I have that right down in front of me, and now I'll zoom in so you can see me cut. Now when we're cutting our pumpkins, we are going to use our pumpkin cutting knife and we're going to insert it on a 90 degree angle, okay? And so when you, when you carve, this is what you do. Just up and down, slowly following those dots, okay? And just turn it a little bit if you need to, or what I like to do is just come right out of there. Now, when I get to an angle, I need to lift it out and then reinsert. Don't try to twist it around that angle, okay? We're just gonna keep going. See how I'm working? Just working really slowly, up and down, always at a 90 degree angle. Just working very slowly, especially around any small corners. Now I'm just going to keep working until I have this whole pattern cut out 
And again, just use this as a guide so that you remember where you need to cut. And then I'll show you what's next. Now I do want to mention that you want to start with the smallest areas first. Don't start with the biggest. And then once you get some areas that are done, you can go ahead and poke them out if you want the smaller areas. Or you can wait until the end and then completely poke all of them out. I prefer to wait to the end unless they're really small pieces. So go ahead and work with your smallest pieces first and then we'll move down to the biggest area. Okay, so once we have everything done, all the cutouts, we can go ahead and poke it out. Now, I like to use the knife. Some people say not to do that because it is um, sharp, but if you're poking it inwards, there's really not much that you're gonna be able to do as long as your hands aren't in there. So we're gonna poke all that in. Now, you can use your fingers, you can pull it out, or you can push it in. I don't mind it all going right inside, and then I'll just clean out the pumpkin one final time. Just get all these pieces. Now the big pieces, you can even reach in and pop it outward too if you'd like. We're just going to get all of these pieces out and cleaned up. Then I'll show you our finished pumpkin. Here's a really big piece that we need to push out carefully. Okay. Now what you can do is just take your knife and just clean up the edges if you want. If there's anything that looks off, you can just go ahead and carefully take your knife and just fix it. I'm just going to fix that just a little bit and just make sure that all the cuts are really solid and that you clean up all that gook in there. And then we're going to give this one final bath just to clean up all the um, cornstarch on the outside and all the um, excess pumpkin pieces that we have all over the place and then we can light it. As you can see that pattern came out just awesome. So that is how you carve your pumpkin.